We gave you British tanks in the 8.1 update. However, this doesn't mean we're going to stop adding new tanks. In the 8.2 update, we're introducing another nation. This time, it's the Chinese. This new branch includes unique tanks with an interesting development history. But let's start from the beginning. Chinese tank development started out in an interesting way. Chinese engineers developed their own models of combat vehicles based on the plans of licensed tanks that they bought from other countries. In addition, Chinese tank manufacturing was heavily influenced by the USSR. That's why it's no surprise that Chinese tanks have lots in common with some of the most famous Soviet tanks. The first tank in the Chinese branch is the Type 58. This tank is similar to the Soviet T-34-85. The People's Republic of China, which was still rebuilding after a civil war, got the plans and manufacturing assistance for this tank from its ally, the USSR. Starting with this model, Chinese engineers began developing their own fighting vehicles. They thought that these tanks would be better than the T-34-85 and the IS-2, the main tanks of the Chinese army, and could compete with the best Soviet tanks, such as the T-54 and the T-10. This is how Chinese tank production first began. As a result, their own medium and heavy tanks and tank destroyers were developed. You can easily see this process through the Chinese tank branch. It begins with vehicles that were bought from other countries or were captured as spoils of war. The middle tiers include tanks that were gifts from the USSR or were built using Soviet plans. Finally, the top tiers include original Chinese armored vehicles that aren't copied directly from the tanks of other countries, but they do still have some features of Soviet tank construction. One of the main features of the Chinese tank branch is having light tanks up to Tier 8. Similar combat vehicles have been in the game for a while, but in contrast to those, the Chinese light tanks don't have an automatic loader. The firepower of Chinese tanks varies widely. That is why in combination with their excellent mobility, this allows for a wide variety of roles for these vehicles on the battlefield. Chinese medium tanks will surprise you with guns that can cause fairly high damage. This is similar to the Soviet Tier 8 tank, the T-44, which is equipped with a 122mm D-25T gun. However, the Chinese medium tanks receive their guns much later, which is why they are more efficient in action. All Chinese tanks in the game can be divided into four major groups. The first group consists of imported vehicles. This group includes tanks that were bought or received from allies or captured on the battlefield. In other words, tanks that were not built in China. This group includes most of the first seven tiers. The names of these tanks include or even repeat the names of the original vehicles. The second group is the project vehicles or prototypes. You will easily recognize tanks from this group due to having names that are made of numbers. In the third group are tanks that were created for governmental tests. The names of these vehicles include the letters WZ. These are added in front of names that are also made of numbers. And finally, the fourth group is made up of tanks that were actually in service in the Chinese army. The first word in their names is type. The low-tier Chinese vehicles are familiar to players as tanks from the branches of other nations. A notable low-tier tank is the Type 2597, also known as Chi Ha. This tank is an example of Japanese tank construction. At Tier 5 and 6, you will find tanks that are similar to the Soviet T-34 and the T-3485. The interesting series of light tanks begins at Tier 6 because from then on, there are tanks that were originally developed in China. Original medium and heavy tanks start at Tier 7. You will find medium tanks that were developed from the T-35-85 to Type 59, the analog of the T-54, and heavy tanks modeled on the IS-2. These tanks are as strong as the IS-8, and in some aspects they might even be more powerful. The Chinese light tank branch contains small vehicles that may remind you of the T-54 from a distance. These tanks have excellent movement characteristics and great weapons, almost as powerful as the equivalent weapons that are mounted on their medium tanks. From Tier 7, Chinese light tanks can be equipped with a stabilizer. However, they also have cons such as low weight and weak armor that is similar to the Type 62. The main features of Chinese medium tanks are their guns with plenty of damage and turrets that have awesome ricochet characteristics and great armor. 
Let's take a look at these features and use the Tier 8 and Tier 10 tanks as the examples. The WZ-120 is a Tier 9 tank. In the game, it represents different variants of construction and modernization of the Type 59. The top tier equipment includes a Tier 9 gun that is usually found equipped on heavy tanks. It gives you the best characteristics of penetration and damage among your still brethren, except for the Centurion. However, such outstanding characteristics are balanced by cons, like the poor acceleration and maneuverability and slow aiming speed along with poor vertical elevation angles. Let's look at the crown jewel of the Chinese medium tanks. The Model 121 was developed as the prototype for the medium tank that would replace the Type 59. Like its predecessor, it has amazing enhanced turret armor and an even more powerful weapon. We can also say that it is equipped with the most powerful Chinese gun in the game, a copy of the Soviet M62 T2 gun. Although its average penetration in contrast to the guns of other Tier 10 medium tanks is a bit low, it does a lot of damage. We should also mention that this tank is overloaded, as it is equipped with such a heavy weapon. Unfortunately, this makes its acceleration and maneuverability less than stellar. The high-tier Chinese medium tanks are a mixture of medium and heavy tanks. As a result, their main disadvantages are poor speed and low vertical elevation angles for their large guns. This means that it's harder for you to use the terrain to good advantage. The exceptions are hillocks and rocks, which may be helpful for you due to the small size of these tanks. You should pay attention to artificial cover, such as ruined buildings, piles of debris, and the hulls of damaged tanks for additional protection. Among all the Chinese heavy tanks, the most interesting might be the Tier 8 and Tier 10 vehicles. For example, the Model 110 is a Tier 8 fighting vehicle. It's a modernized copy of the IS-2, but it is better armored and has a more progressive shape for its hull. This shape is also known as Pike Nose. It is a distinctive feature of Chinese heavy tanks. As a result, you will have a heavy tank with the most powerful frontal armor among all other Tier 8 heavy tanks. However, the weak spots are its long and highly vulnerable side armor. We should also mention that it is equipped with a gun that would be more appropriate on a medium tank. The top heavy tank of the Chinese branch is the Model 5A111. This is the third tier 10 heavy tank that is available for researching, and in contrast to the IS-4, you will definitely love both of its optional weapons. The first one is weaker than, but similar to the M62 T2, which is also available on the tier 9 medium tank. The second gun is the Chinese answer to the C-70. It has similar damage and other characteristics. However, its average penetration is a little lower. As for its armor, it is equivalent to the IS-7, while its gameplay is similar to the IS-8. This tank is a blend of features of heavy tanks and medium tanks, making it very maneuverable. Well, that's all for now. You will see these new combat vehicles soon. In the next episode, we will take a closer look at each tank in the Chinese tree, and we'll also tell you about the new American tanks. Good luck on the battlefield!